I leaned against the broom and yawned, tired in more ways than one. The mess in the storage hold was going to take a while to clean. And just because the universe has ironic timing, I hiccuped while my mouth was wide open. It echoed off the metal walls. Luckily for me, none of my alien crewmates were there to hear it, or so I thought. A bundle of tentacles and a curious squid face peered around the doorway. I sighed, hiccuping again. Yes, it's me. No, I'm not doing it on purpose. Murr eased into the room, stepping carefully around the snowdrifts of flour from where a storage crate had broken. Why are you making that kind of noise on accident? He was carrying a bundle of something wrapped up in one tentacle, but seemed more interested in conversation than in whatever that was. It's called hiccups, I said. I suppose it's too much to hope that other species have to deal with this too. As much as I tried to get the sentence out smoothly, I was betrayed at the end. None that I know of, so what is it? Some kind of compulsion? No, nothing like that. I went back to sweeping with irritated strokes of the broom. It's a muscle spasm that's never been fully explained. It usually goes away pretty quickly for me, but it's annoying, much like this flower. I bet, Moore said, looking around the room. He uncurled his tentacle. I brought batteries for the big gravity wand. Oh, paint just went to get some. Thank you. She'll be back soon. Good, Murr said, wiping at the flower dust that was already settling on him. Ugh, this is unpleasant. Sure I is, I hiccuped, followed by an exasperated noise. At least I don't get acid reflux with the hiccups. Small mercies? Murr asked, get what? As paint arrived, wielding the big gravity wand like a broadsword. Stand back. Oh, hi, Murr. These batteries are only half charged, so I'm going to clean as fast as I can. As short as she was, she looked like a scaly child waving a grown-up weapon that she had no business using, which wasn't entirely wrong. I am standing back, I announced, taking my broom to the doorway where the air was clearer. Paint gave me a sideways look, finger hesitating over the power button. I sighed and brushed flower dust off my sleeve. It's a stupid human thing. Muscle spasms, Murr put in helpfully. Apparently sometimes they come with acid. With what? Paint demanded. Not like that, I hurried to clarify. Some people get stomach acid splashing up their throat, just enough to hurt. That's terrible, Paint said, concern all over her scaly orange face. What causes it? No one's really sure. My favorite theory is that it's evolutionary history, our brains trying to breathe with gills, but... I paused for another hiccup. Pretty sure that's not actually it. Wild, Murr said. Here, paint. I brought fresh batteries. Oh, thank you. No wonder I couldn't find them. That would have been a great time for the hiccups to stop while the conversation had moved on, but no such luck. I leaned against the doorframe and tried to breathe evenly. Paint juggled batteries, finally setting the gravity wand on the floor to swap them out properly. After another loud hiccup, she asked, What makes the muscle spasms go away? They usually do on their own, I said. Some people get them for a long time, but I've been pretty lure lucky. Sure, Murr said, picking up the old batteries. Lucky. Paint stood back up. Nothing makes them calm down faster? There are a few things, I admitted. Mostly stuff to distract the person from paying attention to them, really. Drink water from the far side of a cup, get startled by something, hold your breath a long time. I usually just take a lot of deep breaths, and they go away. I grimaced. Not today, apparently. Something hard closed around both shoulders and yanked me backward into the hallway, to where open mandibles hissed in my face surrounded by shiny black exoskeleton and terrifying faceted eyes. Ah, good gods, Trilly! I stumbled upright, gasping for breath as she released me with far too much smugness. You are welcome, Trilly purred. Was that enough of a s startle, or should I find a nice hiding plaques to jump out for um? I'm good, thanks, I said. My heart was beating dangerously fast, but the hiccups were long gone. Hmm. Disappointing, Trilly said, dropping the hiss. 
Let me know if you require further medicinal terror. Then she glided off down the hallway on many quiet bug legs. I shuddered a little. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Paint was wide-eyed, crouched to pick up the gravity wand where she'd dropped it. I'd dropped the broom, too, and I hadn't heard either of them fall. The batteries had fallen out again. Paint asked, Are you going to tell her next time you have those spasms? Ha! No, I don't think I will. I might, Moore said with a grin. Hey now, I said sternly, bending to pick up the broom. Don't make me sweep flour on you. He laughed and danced out of range, and the three of us got back to work, cleaning up with nary a hiccup. I did sneeze at the dust, which started a whole other conversation. But at least they knew what those were.